to pay for what he's done to this poor dog, and we need to change the laws so that it's not just a misdemeanor. After what he's been through, it's just amazing this pitiful German Shepherd is even alive. And now the man who owns him heads to court. Good evening, everybody. Animal rescue volunteers and vets gave the dog a biblical name, Joseph, because it's a miracle he's still alive. Investigators say the dog has been chained to a tree for years, sick and starving. He was rescued on Friday by police and animal advocates, and tonight they're working to save his life. Local 12 News reporter Rich Jaffe is here now with this very disturbing story. Rich? Cammie, in the last three months, there have been four brutal cases of animal abuse coming out of Middletown, but this is by far the worst. In all my years of telling stories, I have never seen an animal that's been through this much abuse and is still breathing. What you'll see here is going to upset a lot of people, and it should. See the ear infection? Joseph should weigh about 120 pounds. When Middletown police and volunteers from PAWS brought him to the Westchester Veterinary Center last Friday, he barely weighed half of that. He is so starved and sick, he's literally nothing but skin and bones. I mean, I've seen some really bad dogs, and he, he is by far the worst. Um, his hair is falling out because of malnutrition. Um, he's, uh, most of his teeth are gone. His, his aren't gone from chewing bricks and rocks. They're probably knocked out. And the ones that are there are bad. This sweet shepherd's never been vaccinated. He has heartworms and a raging ear infection. Investigators say he was chained to a tree for years behind this Middletown home. Called in to help, Meg Malampy took his chains off Friday. My first thought was how sad he looked. He, he just looks up like with that head hanging low and the sad face and he just was in deplorable condition. And he's tethered to a chain to this tree and there is nothing around the tree, no food, no water, no straw, blanket, nothing for this dog. Middletown police have charged the dog's owner, Jeremy Shane Temple, with animal torture, chaining and having an unlicensed dog. He's due in court on October 14th. In the meantime, the vets and volunteers will try to save the dog and eventually find him a home. I would really like for the community to open their eyes and see and check out their neighbors and to call when they see a situation like this and know that there's help out there. They can call the police. They can call the dog warden in Butler County. And they can call and go get help. Somebody should have called years ago on this dog. He's a good boy. He wants to be loved. The advocates from PAWS, the rescue organization, are planning a demonstration in front of the Middletown Courthouse on the 14th when Jeremy Temple's case comes up for a pretrial. They and many other people believe that we need to change state law so that abuse cases this egregious are prosecuted as felonies. We will let you know what happens in court. Kimmy, huh? I was just going to ask, Rich, I hope we're going to cover that there. Thank you so much for that. It's such a sad story. And at this point, the medical bills for Joseph have added up to about $1,200. Just the heartworm treatment alone could go as high as $2,500. PAWS is a tax-exempt charitable organization. And if you'd like to help out or you just want to find out more about PAWS, just go to our website, local12.com, and click on that red Get It button.